In this video, we'll be going over 8.14 culture name signs. So for this, you need to know that there are two different types of name signs. There's arbitrary name signs, ones that are just based on random choice or personal whim rather than any reason or system, or there's descriptive name signs. Okay, so there's um, something that's based on your appearance, on your movement, on your personality, a striking feature, a characteristic, etc. Okay, so two types of name signs, arbitrary and descriptive. Okay, so these can be formed in various locations. So they can be in a single location, um, maybe on your head, on your forehead, your temple, your cheek, the front or the side of your chin. Um, it can be on your head in multiple locations. It can go from your forehead to your chin, um, from your temple to your cheek, your dominant side to your non-dominant side on your chin, or the same on your forehead, dominant side to non-dominant side. Um, it can be on your torso. It can be, um, say, like your non-dominant shoulder or your chest, or it can be in dual locations on your torso. So maybe your chest to your tummy, um, or your non-dominant shoulder to your dominant shoulder, your non-dominant shoulder to your dominant side of waist. There's lots of different ways that these can be placed. It can also be on your non-dominant arm in a single location, um, your inner elbow, the back of your hand, or your palm. It can be on your non-dominant arm in dual locations, shoulder to inner elbow, shoulder to back of hand, back of hand, um, like your wrist to your knuckles, or the palm of your hand, like the base of your hand to the heel, or it can just be a neutral space in front of your body. So there's different contact points depending on the letter that you're going to use or the hand shape that you're going to use. Um, I'll read through a couple of these. Actually, I'll just read through all of them, bore you to death, but it's good information to have. Okay, so the radial side of your hand, which is your like the index finger thumb side of your hand or like the heel here, um, for that, there you can't use J, L, R, Y, or Z because they don't make contact there. Um, you can use the tip of your finger or your thumb, except for like A, B, E, G, H, K, O, Q, S, T, U, and Z don't have contact points. Um, for the palm side of your hand making contact, this would be only A, E, L, and Y. The ulnar side, the pinky side of your hand, is only with B, E, G, H, and S. And then um, with no contact in neutral space, you can use any letter. can be a letter that's there that doesn't make any contact. Okay. Lastly, we have the movements that they can make. Okay. So it can tap in a single location. It can tap twice. Um, it can tap in dual locations once in each place. It can shake. Um, all letters can shake except for the letter Z because Z, it wouldn't work. You could do A, B, C, D, but you can't do Z. Um, and then for J, um, that's the only one that can do brushing. So like you could do this one, J, um, but there's like, there, you can't do a B. It doesn't make sense for any of the other ones to brush. So only J for that one. Okay. So name signs. The way that you get a name sign if you don't have deaf parents is either an adult at the deaf school will assign you an arbitrary name sign. Um, so that just may be like um, B on your chest because your name starts with a B or D on your head here just because your name starts with a D. Um, your peers may later on assign you a descriptive name sign. So it could be something um, because you have a cool mohawk, mohawk and your name starts with a B, this is your name. Okay, um, but something like that. Um, in the professional setting, the book says, the name signs use the first letter of the last name. Um, so if your last name was Smith, then your name sign would have an S instead. I haven't actually seen this. Um, maybe that's just in the region I'm in. Usually people just use their first name basis and um, don't have like a professional thing like that. But this is something that can be done. Um, if the person's name sign is the same as another person's name sign, then they may add a second hand shape. Um, so let's say your name sign was an S, um, but your last name has a J and then somebody else has the same name sign here. You might be SJ and then they would be S. Okay. The other thing that can be done is that a descriptive name sign can be given for these. Okay. Name signs are only used to refer to a person who's not present. So you would never try and get someone's attention and like try to sign to them and 
hey, um, like someone would say, hey, Courtney, you would never go, hey, like, never say like, hello, Brian, here. Um, it just wouldn't make sense, okay? So you might use it in a crowd. Um, maybe the person's name sign is this. So you're waving it around in a crowd, like up high, trying to get the person's attention. They see this, oh, that's my name sign. So they would know um, the person is trying to get your attention. And um, so they shouldn't be used when you're talking to that person. They refer to someone who's not present. And then they should be given after you fingerspell your first and last name, then you will give your name sign. Okay, so you will never just introduce, hello, my name, or hello, I'm name sign. You would go, hello, my name, first name, last name, and then you would give your name sign after introducing yourself, okay? So what are the two types of name signs? Descriptive and arbitrary. How are arbitrary name signs formed? Mm, just because, okay. No description, they just have the first letter of your name usually. How would you get a name sign if one doesn't have deaf parents? You would get it from a deaf community member, specifically if you were deaf, um, probably someone at the deaf school would give you one or your peers would give you a descriptive one. And then when are name signs used? When the person isn't there, uh, maybe to get their attention in the crowd, etc. So that's what you need to know on name signs. Bye.